Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a huge book haul. This video may be very long because I have quite a few books. So I guess grab your beverage of choice. I will be drinking kombucha. <laughs> this is the strawberry lemonade by the brand Home. Okay, so let's talk about how we got to this point. I've accumulated about 37 books <laughs> and that was all kind of like spur of the moment like I was like I'm buying this this has been on my list I'm buying it but yeah anyway the point of this whole thing is this is going to be my last book haul of the year just because I don't need any more books right now I have to do an unhaul of books that I know I won't ever read again so some of these books back here I haven't even read yet and then also like ignore how like crooked this is <laughs> I've like been taking books in and out trying to like place them but yeah I have this cart that I have to add books to so I think as I like talk about each book I'll go ahead and just put them back there. I guess I should mention that my birthday was the first of September which meant that I got a few books from a friend and uh, my mom and my brother gave me some books as well but most of them have been books that I have bought myself as a birthday gift. I actually like printed off a list because I kind of put them in order. <laughs> I don't know anything about any of these books so I apologize in advance if I get the story or the plot wrong based on the synopsis or like the little blurb or whatever. I don't know what these books are. It's, it's called a haul for a reason, okay? Don't hate on me because I don't know what the book is about yet. I plan on reading them so I will know at some point, just not right now. So I guess we'll start with the books that my friend Havon got me. She got me four books, two of which I've already read because I just couldn't wait and these books have been kind of sitting on my like wish list for a bit. I guess we'll start with those two that I've already read. The first book that I read was People Like Us. Um, I've kind of already talked about this book but it's a mystery that takes place at this boarding school where someone dies and we're trying to figure out who was I guess the murderer. I did talk about it in my last August wrap-up so I'll just like link it this way, this way one of them i'll link it up in like the cards so you guys can go check that video out if you haven't <laughs> the next book that i read was fever dream by samantha schweblin and i thought this book was amazing again i talked about it in my august wrap up it's told in i guess like a dream state of just like things that have been happening i'm not going to even call names because this this like this company this organization is very like treacherous so i'm guessing this book is based on that because it does talk about like the environmental effects in argentina and you know how people are like i guess getting sick from certain things pesticides and i thought it was great um but yeah i talked about it in my august wrap up and you will be seeing more samantha schweblin in this video for sure <laughs> So the next book that she gave me is called Little Deadly Secrets by Pamela Crane and it's about three girls who are best friends and it looks like it says that it has to do with a murder so it's most likely going to be a thriller. The front says three best friends, two unforgivable sins, and one dead body. The next book that she gave me is called The Death of Vivek Oji by Kwekwe Emizi and I was kind of reading about this book a little earlier. It seems like this book has a lot to do with grief. It says what does it mean for a family to you to lose a child they never really knew. So I guess it's gonna be in a, a family affair or I guess just like how people deal with loss. The next two books that I have here were given to me by my mom. One of them is called If I Had Your Face by Frances Cha and I believe this is about women in Seoul, South Korea and just like how women exist there. I want to say it's about multiple women. It's not just like we're following one story. Actually it looks like it's about four young women making their way in a world defined by impossible standards of beauty after our room salons catering to wealthy men, ruthless social hierarchies, and K-pop mania. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for this. So the next book that my mom gave me is called 
A Beautiful Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green. It's the second book in the series of an absolute remarkable thing <laughs> and I hope this one is better than the last one. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting this to be turned into to a, a duology I guess. I really don't know what I expected from Hank Green but I thought the other book was pretty fast paced. So I'm excited to read this one. So <laughs> I don't know when I'll read it because my October month is going to be pretty much focused on like dark academia slash thrillers slash horrors. Just because I want to like feel the Halloweeny vibes. <laughs> All right. So, oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Let me tell you about how I got my first arc. What? What? <laughs> I got this, the, the arc from Chris Steadman. It's called IRL, which is in real life. <laughs> Finding realness, meaning, and belonging in our digital lives. I am excited to read this. I, I think it's very interesting to see how much, I guess, the internet has like been consuming us and how it affects us in like different ways in like how we're present in certain areas and stuff. So I am excited to read this. Um, hopefully I'll read it before it comes out, <laughs> but it comes out in October, so you guys should pre-order, and I <laughs> think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm excited to read it, at least. I'll let you guys know, but I think it should be good. I don't read a lot of, I guess, books that, that focus on real existing matters like everything that I like usually is like contemporary or literary fiction I actually saw this tweet <laughs> I am going to like put it here or something <laughs> but the someone was like when do we start calling dystopians um contemporaries or something along those lines and I was like yeah that's kind of true <laughs> so the next books that I'm going to show you are books that my brother gave me he gave me Dark Tales by Shirley Jackson, and I believe it's a collection of short stories. I was reading about it, and it looks like Shirley Jackson is known to write horror. So this is definitely going to be on my TBR for October, <laughs> um, and it looks pretty short, so I'm excited. The next book that he gave me is What We Lose by Zinzi Clemens. And I believe this book has to do with grieving and death, I want to say. I know that this is based on parts of her own life. Then the next book that my brother gave me <laughs> is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asiman. And I cannot wait to read this. I don't know if I've ever wanted to read the book but Noelle Gallagher has been like raving about it and I was like let me read it I did want to watch the movie when the movie was coming out but I still haven't watched it yet I just find that my attention span for movies it, it takes a lot of energy for me to have the presence to watch something so I'm excited to read the book and then obviously I'm gonna watch the movie afterwards and we have another book by Andre later on. So next we'll get into all of the books that I bought. And I, like I mentioned in the beginning, bought quite a lot of them. The first book that I bought is called Sleepwalking by Meg Wolitzer. And I don't know anything about this book at all. I think it's like dark academia, I want to say. It's about three girls um known as the death girls who are obsessed with different uh it looks like different poets suicides and work the next book that i have here is luster by raven lilani and i don't know anything about this book i know that it recently came out i want to say the inside bit kind of makes it seem like it's a romance but i think we're going to mainly be focusing on the main person Edie or Eddie. The next book that I have here is called Broken People by Sam Lansky. I believe this is a romance. <laughs> I think that book has been compared to Sally Rooney like her books Normal People in Conversations with Friends 
And my whole take on this like comparison because it's been happening like a lot. I have found the ones that I've read that have been compared to Sally Rooney have not compared at all. <laughs> and I don't know why everyone is rushing to make this comparison. And I think what it has to do is Sally Rooney's women in her stories are kind of detached. That's what I want to say. They kind of just like float around. They don't really have, I guess, like a purpose, but in a way they do. And I feel like when anyone has this like, I guess, quirky type of girl who's kind of just like distance from people, they rush to make that comparison. Whereas I think Sally Rooney does a really good job of that. I haven't found like another author that has characters like that that have been compared to Sally Rooney that does it in the same way. So I don't know if that's what people are going off of or if it's, they're going off based of her writing style where she doesn't use like the little quotation marks to tell you when someone is talking. You just kind of get used to it as you read. I don't know if that's what they're comparing it to but yeah, I just want to get that out because people are like, this book has been compared to Sally Rooney's Normal People. And I'm like, no. That's, no. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know. It makes me feel like I didn't read the same book as these people. <laughs> that was a long tangent about how people are comparing books to Sally Rooney. So the next book that I have here is called Three Hours by Rosamund Lupton. And I was just looking at it. It's a signed copy freaking signed what the hell wow i did not expect that if you watched my like book tag what was it mid-year book tag or something that that one that you do after in the middle of the year the one the book tag that you do in the middle of the year i said this was one of my anticipated releases i don't know if it's actually like released this year actually let me just double check when it was released all I know is that it was one of the books that I wanted to read this year but I don't know when it actually came out I just don't know how I got a signed copy oh this is a thriller I forgot to mention that <laughs> when I introduced it um and it's about a gunman in a school so I think it has to do with like a shooting or being held hostage or something. Yeah, I talked about this a couple months ago and I still don't know what the book is about, but it was still one of my anticipated releases. So the next book that I have here is called Exciting Times by Na Nais Dolan. I don't know anything about this book, but she's an Irish author and I have found that I really like Irish authors. So I think I'm going to go into this book liking it and finish liking it. I don't think the book is exciting at all. I believe it's the opposite. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Compared to Sally Rooney. I, I was gonna mention that. I already knew this book was compared to Sally Rooney and that's why I bought it. Yeah, I've been meaning to buy this, but yeah, we will see about that. Actually, you know what? I believe it. I believe it with this one. I, I believe it. She's an Irish author. Sally Rooney is an Irish author. I find that they write in a specific kind of way. So I'm going to believe this one is comparable to Sally Rooney. <laughs> Alrighty, the next book that I have for reading in October is called Bunny by Mona Awad. And all I know is that there is like a group of girls who call each other Bunny. It's, I want to say, a thriller slash mystery maybe i actually really don't know what this book is about but i've heard it described by so many people in various ways <laughs> so i guess i'm gonna have to read it and see what i think about it but yeah i'm excited to read this and look at the cover <laughs> it's so cute like pink yellow the next book that i have here is called must i go by yeon lee and I just really like the cover of this book. I believe this book is written in letter form, like this lady's writing a diary, I guess reflecting on like her past life as she's gotten older and you know like raised children. She's at her old age and she's writing about her romance in the past and stuff like that. But really I picked it up because of the cover. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> 
The next book that I have here is called What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours. I have no idea what this book is about. Now I have They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. This is being turned into a movie but um, it is a young adult fiction mystery about it looks like the cover has blood on it so I'm guessing there's been a murder. The next book I have here is called The Hating Game by Sally Thorne and I really just picked this up because again Noelle has been raving about this book and so have everybody else and I don't believe I've been reading I used to only read romance novels as a teenager so it'll be good to like get into I guess adult adult romance in that same style. The next book that I have here is called What Are You Going Through by Sigrid Nunes and I don't know a thing about this book. <laughs> Alrighty. The next two books that I've picked up are by the same author. It is Otessa Moshfeg. I've picked up Eileen and Death in Her Hands. I don't know anything about either of these books but if it's anything like my year of rest and relaxation, I know it's going to be good. So the next book that I have here is called Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. And I believe this is a dark academic novel. I guess it's comparable to The Secret History where the students and their teacher is kind of... I'm guessing it's physics class. <laughs> but I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. All I know is that it is a dark academic novel or it was listed as one. So the next book that I have here is called Redhead by the Side of the Road by Ann Tyler. I have only read one other Ann Tyler book. I think it's called Clockwork Dance. If it's anything like that it's going to be about I guess would it be found family where she where the I guess the main character um finds family in neighbors. So if it's anything I think like authors tend to write similar books um, to their previous ones so it might have to do with I guess friendships, relationships, just like that. Another book I have here is called The Dutch House by Ann Patchett and once again I've only read one book by Ann Patchett. It was called Commonwealth says it was a Pulitzer Prize finalist so I'm excited about this and if it's anything like Commonwealth it's going to be a I guess not generational but like an aging story where we follow kids or like children into their adult ages um at least that's what Commonwealth was about all right so the next book I have here is called A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Barnard and I picked this book up for one reason. <laughs> so I saw, I think it was just Angus mentioned it in his video. And I had to replay it a few times because he was reading the little like blurb on the back. And I was like, did it say Steffi? I was like, no, it didn't. And then I Googled the book and it said Steffi. And I was like, why not? And it's spelled the same way I spelled my name. So I was like, I'm buying it and I'm going to read it. Imagine seeing my name in the entire book. Is that conceited? <laughs> Is that conceited though? So the next couple of books I have here are, I believe, categorized under dark academia because it takes place in schools. So does any book that takes place in a school or I guess like boarding school consider dark academia even... Even if it's like for children or middle grade, is that like dark academia? Anyways, let's start with The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. This is about a 12 year old, I believe. And I think based on the title, they're telling ghost stories. So the next book I have here is called The Lake of Dead Languages by Carol Goodman. It is about a woman who, I guess, attends a school where a couple of people die by suicide before she graduates and years have passed when she decides to go back to that school to teach Latin and I guess try to like discover or like figure out why I guess what happened and why those suicides happened. Um, so yeah. 
that's this one. The final Dark Academia book I have here is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. And I've just seen a lot of people reading this, so, <laughs> so that's why I picked it up. We're coming to the end. We have a few more books left. One of the books I have here is called Mouthful of Birds and the other one's called Little Eyes by Samantha Schweblin once again <laughs> and I believe this book in Spanish is called Quintuques or Quintuques um I'm not sure I think that's what it's called in Spanish <laughs> and it's about like little robots. I feel like this book's going to give me Black Mirror vibes. Anyways, the next book is called Mouthful of Birds and I believe this is a collection of short stories. Um, at least that's what I think I've read. And Samantha Schweblin, I believe, writes stories that are unsettling. At least Fever Dream was supposed to be like unsettling and it kind of was, I guess. Um, but I think these two are supposed to be a bit more creepier and I'm excited. <laughs> I need a little bit of creepiness in Halloween season so. All right guys I said Andrea Simon was gonna pop up again and here he is which is Find Me. I believe this is a continuing story from Call Me By Your Name but I don't know if it's about like the same characters or if they are different characters. <laughs> but I'm excited to read it. Alrighty guys, we are down to the last three books. <laughs> and I guess we're going to talk about my anticipated release in the US. I believe this book um, was just released in the US. And it's called The Discomfort of Evening by Marieke Lucas. Reginaveld. <laughs> I believe if I remember correctly this book is about a girl who I guess wishes death upon her brother and then he dies <laughs> and I guess we follow that story. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a thriller though. So the second to last book that I have here is called The Orphan Collector by Ellen Mary Wiseman and I believe this is a historical fiction based on the Spanish flu in Philadelphia, I'm trying to remember. And I think it's about like the resilience and family bonding and stuff like that. And I guess like making it through or like surviving the Spanish flu. I have the sticker on here. Um, oh, there we go. Sticker's gone. So I just ran down to get the last book that showed up. It was supposed to be here on Monday and um, it showed up today. So. <laughs> came right in time for this video <laughs> and it is called Exhalation by Ted Chang. All I know is that it is a collection of short stories. I want to say he writes science fiction. <laughs> is that it? I think that's what he's known for I want to say based on like my Wikipedia search. But besides that, I don't know what it is. I do know, though, that they said the last short story in this this collection is one of the best ones. So I cannot wait to read this. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that is all of the books that I had for this haul. It is my last haul for the year and probably for like the beginning of the year. I think I have enough books to last me through then. Um... But yeah, I have so many fun books and I wish I could read them all at once. <laughs> but obviously that can't happen. I am excited to go on this adventure with many different authors. Some new, some old, some familiar. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you guys want me to see, if you want me to do a reading vlog of any of these books, maybe I can do a Samantha Schweblin one or a Otessa Moshfeg one because I have two of those books. If you would like that, I can do that, but I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>